Welcome everybody to the Queen of the Trap podcast. I am your host Kay Bev and I'm going to be explaining to you on episode one today um, a little bit about what my podcast is going to be about, um, what you're going to expect to see. Um, I'll be explaining a little about myself and how I'm involved in the music business. And yeah, all I ask is you subscribe right now and stay tuned because it's going to be an awesome podcast. A little bit of a background of myself. I'm Kerry. I'm 27 from Long Island, New York. Um, my love for hip hop and rap began in fourth grade. I was listening to like 50 Cent, Eminem, um, D12, Fat Joe. And then fifth grade, I got put on to Street Runners and Trapaholics mixtapes, and it was over from there. I was sold on trap music. Um, my favorite artists are Two Chains, aka Titty Boy, um, Jeezy, uh, Young Dolph, Gucci Man. Um, there's so many, but those are like my top, top people. Waka Flocka top people. I'm a nursing assistant of six years. Um, I'm in radiology school. Um, I also am learning to DJ. I'm a podcast co-host over at the Hip Hop Buffet. Um, it's over at Audio Workstations in Islandia. Um, we've been doing that podcast since January of 2020. Uh, we will be returning to season two once this corona pandemic is over. And I would also just like to mention, I hope that everybody has been staying safe and healthy because it's a really rough time for everybody. Um, but this is kind of going to be the new norm in a way. So that's why I was like, it's time to start my home podcasts because I already have a podcast. But I wanted something for me. I wanted something that I can share my my love for music with you guys. I wanted to give you guys a platform to basically share your music on. Um, because if anybody knows me, I sit on Instagram all day and I'm a hundred thousand percent searching for your new tracks. And I, if I love it, I'm showing it off to the world. And that's just who I am. That's just what I do. Um, what else about me? Um, so my involvement, oh, I also, I also work for Trademark Talent New York. Um, it's a company that my friend from high school, she owns. She, uh, started it when she was 15 with a penny and a prayer. And she's doing amazing. Um, she took me under her wing probably February of this year. So we were booking and managing artists. One of our clients was um, Justina Valentine uh, from Wilding Out. We were booking all the after parties for the Wilding Out tour before the pandemic happened. Um, I also was booking all of the South by Southwest tours, but due to the pandemic, we couldn't really um, do that. So that's another thing that I do. Um, I'm a mixtape host. If you look on my channel, I have three mixtapes out right now. My first one was called Welcome to My Trap House. The second one was Trap Holiday the Trap Cast. And then I did a mixtape for my school project. Now, getting into my school project, I, um, I started taking this hip hop history class for college um, last September, so September of 2019. And one of the projects that we had to do was talk about hip hop in my community. So basically, I know about hip hop in my community being my bars and listening to my DJ friends because I have a lot of DJ friends. Um, their companies are called YDJIC or YDJINC, whichever one you want to, you know, hashtag and look up. And then there's the Jack Boys. They do all of the local Nassau and Suffolk bars. Uh, they are all DJing. Um, that's actually how I got my first controller, the owner of YDJINC, DJ Danja. 
bought me my first controller for Christmas two years ago. Um, I haven't really been, well, I have been practicing a lot during the pandemic. I had a, a little bit of issues when it came to my hard drives, stuff like that. So I'm just really learning how to do it. But my goal mainly for DJing is to learn how to make my own mixtapes, like do it on my own. Uh, so after that hip hop history report, um, I got asked to do a music video for J6 Official. Um, his song was called The Kill. It was pretty cool. I was uh, robbing people's money and I got my throat slit, which is cool. Um, and then that put me on to another music video with Vizo. And then um, when I was finished doing that music video that day, uh, Steve Stacks, who is an engineer over at Audio Workstations in Islandia and Victorian Sounds, um, I hope I said that right, like I said, my pronunciation on people's names and places are not that good. Um, that put me on, he had asked me to do podcasts and I was like, absolutely, this is something I've been wanting to do for so long, like blah, blah, blah. And, um, so we started the Hip Hop Buffet podcast over at Audio Workstations in Islandia. We do it every Thursday night, but due to the pandemic, you know, we haven't been going over there to do the podcast. So as soon as the studio opens back up, we will be returning to season two of that. But I just wanted to, um, start a home podcast and get more involved with content and people and talk about things that I like to talk about and make this podcast something of my own. So that's how that came about with the Hip Hop Buffet. Um, I've also recently during this pandemic, I've been helping out with Doc Samili's podcast over at Social Media House Long Island. Um, it's called the Still Dropping Podcast, so I've been helping him co-host that. Um, I told you I DJ, um, I mixtape host, um, I do a lot of things on it. I'm very social media savvy, so if you know me, I'm always on social media. I am always on social media. I live for social media because that's kind of the new normal, honestly, especially the time we're living through right now with the whole pandemic. We have to basically learn how to work from home and how to keep people listening, keep people in tune with what is going on. Um, and that's why I wanted to really do this. Um, my podcast obviously is not gonna be all about trap music because I love all different types of music, not I don't just listen to trap music. I listen to everything. Maybe not so much country. I might like like four or five country songs, but I'm listening to mostly rap and hip hop. And that's what basically this podcast is going to be about. It's also going to be a vlog. Um, a lot of people ask me to start a vlog, so I'm going to use this channel to do that as well. Um, I want to start doing live viewings of people's tracks and um, music videos. And I want people to send in their music. Um, I'm going to actually be setting up a phone number for where people could call in and they can ask questions if they wanted or if you have a comment you wanna talk about because your opinion counts too. It's not just gonna be me talking all the time. Today you're hearing me talk but it's going to, I'm basically going to be bringing everything to you. Anything that you've seen me post on Instagram, and if you don't see me post on Instagram, I'm basically, I'm supporting those who I personally like. Even if I, even if I've never heard your music before, I still would like you to send it in because I'm the type of person, I will sit there and listen to your whole album and I will review it for you. Like if anybody who sends me music, I'm I'm reviewing it for you. I'm telling you 
what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing, how it sounds, what you could be doing better because I've just, I've always had an ear for music. That's just who I am. Um, and I also, I like to shake my butt. So a lot of people have seen me do my twerk contests on live and stuff like that. Um, I'm sorry that my, uh, my iPad keeps going off. But, um, so basically, yeah, I'm going to be bringing a lot of content to you guys. Uh, it's mostly going to be music based. Uh, if it's not, it's going to be like home life based or what I've been doing. Um, once the pandemic is over and once we, um, you know, the United States basically opens back up again, I'm going to be bringing this podcast global. Well, on the road basically um that's why i got my microphone that's why i'm literally running this from my iphone right now literally everything that is connected is plugged into my phone you don't need to buy a roadcaster you don't need to buy all these things to run a podcast it's really easy to run a podcast it's just doing your videos and keeping up with your content um but yeah, so basically, this is what this podcast is going to be about. I'm going to be showing off people's content. I'm going to be reviewing their music. I'm going to basically give you a platform to show your music. Um, I'm going to let people call in, video chat. Um, we'll do video interviews. Once the U.S. opens back up completely, I'm going to bring this, you know, a little bit global. I'm going to, you know, be podcasting from Amityville Musical, doing interviews, Revolutions, doing interviews, um, the studios that I'm at. That's kind of where the vlog part came in. Um, I'm also going to be, you know, sharing things that I personally like about music, things that I want to talk about about music. Um, but you'll also have the chance to do the same thing on my podcast and you know I'm gonna make these live today it was just recorded because I wanted to get episode one out I wanted to explain what this is going to be about um and yeah so I really hope you enjoy this podcast once again I hope you subscribe and keep staying tuned and uh next time it'll be a little more outgoing it was just episode one man Because if you know me, I could talk for days. I like to drink. I like to have fun. I like to talk about music. Because music makes me happy. It's universal. Everybody loves music. Whether you don't like trap music and you're a country singer, you see, you see some country artists actually doing collabs with rappers nowadays it's insane it's insane music is universal and that's what i'm going that's the number one thing i'm going to be explaining on this podcast too everybody loves music everybody can relate to music we're all going to be talking about each other's music we're going to be putting each other on to people's music and we're going to talk about things that are going on in the community we're going to talk about things that are um going on globally we're going to talk about issues we're going to talk about everything everything like i'm gonna bring you everything like episode one today is a little nerve-wracking for me i'm not gonna lie but i'm telling you i'm going to bring it all to you because that's just who i am Cause I am queen of the trap, duh, duh. No, but on a serious note, I thank you guys so much for tuning in today and watching this. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And can't wait to do episode two. See you later. One more thing I failed to mention that I wanted to mention. Um, throughout this whole podcast I just forgot um if you have merch or anything you have 
clothing line, you have underwear line, you have this, you have that. You are welcome to send me any of your stuff and I will promote it. So I have some stuff today that I actually, I just want to show off because these people had sent me these things. Um, Paper Route Empire, New York. Go follow them on Instagram. They gave me this shirt. It's amazing. I love, I love it. I love it. Um, also another um, amazing company is 12 Gauge. They are located in Australia. And uh, they had asked me basically to model off their clothes and help promote them in the United States. So I did so. And I still promote them. But if anybody has any merch, any anything like that, they want to send me absolutely and I will promote it on this podcast. 